most of my body, I mean, I couldn't move my legs, I couldn't wiggle my toes. And when I bring up that part of the story about not being able to wiggle my toes, almost every person in the audience wiggles their toes and I remind them at the end, please wiggle your toes because there could be something that they took away, something positive in the time we just spent and that simple little toe wiggle brings them back. Just think of someone, someone who loves you so much, someone you love so much, just that person who's so special to you. I think of my sister Alice, and I think of my parents, I think of my friends, and I even think of you. I've been laying in bed sometimes thinking, I can't do this, I can't get through today, but I'm like, I got him, because I've made a promise to a lot of young people that I'll never quit, and who knows, maybe there's some young person out there who's taken that as inspiration, and they're not quitting either, so that's the deal, you know, I don't quit, you don't quit. When he talks about his family values, and, and that's one of your core values, you say, hey, he's sort of like me, you know, despite the fact that I don't even know who he is, and, or what he's doing here, well, you figure out what he's doing. But then he, he reaches out to you, and, and as time goes along, you learn to, or you, you develop this, this connection with him that's so special, and you feel like, like it's just you and him in the building. And it's a huge emotional roller coaster. I found myself laughing, crying. But as long as this is uh, having an impact on kids and inspiring them and motivating them and empowering them, there's nothing better I could be doing with my time or my life. I believe about 110%. Gets me to bed every morning.